Okay, I printed this out and I spiral bound it because I have a spiral binder, but I don't have coils big enough. So I actually had to break it up into two. So that's why I didn't finish the coil because I'm gonna take it apart. Anyway, I wanted to show you just close-ups of what this looks like. So here are your 18 steps. Um, so that's the table of contents. And then in the bottom left-hand corner of every page, I have the step number so that as you're flipping through, you know what step you're looking at. Um, so this just kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. Um, so the first step, you're just going through lots and lots of notes and just different things, um, different warnings and things to keep in mind, budget hacks and tips and all the things. Um, these are the symbols that I use throughout the book. So that means that that item probably has an expiration date. So you would want to write it down. It's just kind of a warning to write it down. Um, budget tips are the dollar sign. These little light bulbs are just ideas or notes. And then the little boy is a kid tip. Um, so anyway, that's step one. At the end of every step, there's a checklist. Um, so it's just making sure that you actually did everything uh, before you move on to the next step. So this is just kind of the format of it all. Um, I want to show you, so like this is preparing your space. There's different ideas here um, of where you can put stuff in your home. I want to show you what like an actual um, list looks like. So like here, here are, I'm going to flip back here. Bear with me here. Oh my gosh, wrong again. Okay, so like here's the list. And then if I have a note, I've drawn a line to that note, either a budget tip or an idea or a kid tip or whatever. So I wanted to show you what those looked like. Um, so anyway, that's that. Then there's all these printables that are in the appendix. So here's an adult list, a kid and baby list, um, the family shared items. So I'm just going to show you, um, here, I'm going to show you on the, this family thing. So, um, like a lantern with batteries, the batteries expire. So that's why I have an expiration date there. I also have things, I have that expiration sign on things that don't necessarily expire, like the phone charger. Um, and I have this written in the actual step in the book, but if you change types of phones, you're going to need to change your phone charger. So I have the red triangle on things that might not necessarily expire, but things you want to look out for. So like a picture of each family member that doesn't expire, but you would want to update it. So it's just kind of like a little note, like, Hey, keep your eye on this throughout the months and years. Um, here is the shopping list. So I have a box over here that you can obviously use as a check box, but also you can use it as a place to put like a quantity. Like if you need five ponchos for your family, you would do, do a five in that box. And then this little space over here is for price matching. So before I go to the store, I look it up on Amazon and write the price. And then I go to Target or Walmart, and if their price is better, then I buy it there. And if not, I have the Amazon price right there to compare. And I know I'm going to stick with Amazon, and when I get home, I'll, I'll order that. So that's how I use this shopping list. Um, you wouldn't have to use it for that, but I, I made that functional. Here's just a lot of supporting printables. So, like, here's a meal plan worksheet for you to kind of think through the food. Of course, I talk about that at length in the actual guide, but this is just kind of than what you do with it. Um, this is kind of random, but there's a tube tent that I really like, but it doesn't come with instructions. And so I made little instructions for you to cut out and slip in there if you want to, if you end up buying that. One of the things that um, is on that kit list is having a family emergency plan. So if you don't have one, I have you covered. This talks about it. And then here's the, the family emergency plan to fill out with your family. Same with important information, you would want account numbers and passwords and things like that. So if you don't already have those rounded up, um, here's some information about how I organize that. And then I actually have a fillable um, Microsoft Word document that comes with it as well um, if you need to organize, help organizing that stuff. Here's Yahtzee sheets because that's a really cheap, easy way to have fun and kill time if you're evacuated. Um, here's a pet. 72 hour kit checklist. Um, these are little emergency information cards for your kids' kits. So you would tape a picture of them there and then put any allergies or medical concerns and um, parents' information in case you're separated from your children. Um, first aid kits are a big part of what you would want. So if you don't currently have 
um, a first aid kit. I have a DIY one. This is what we have in ours. So it's a printable checklist. Um, if you'd like to create your own, I have a blank one. And then these are just, you know, to cutesy up your container. Um, and then 72 hour kits are not complete until you have thought about what you would grab that didn't fit in your pack or that isn't feasible to keep packed all the time. So I have a couple brainstorm sheets for you to go through. Um, one is by room to walk around your house and, you know, and just kind of brainstorm and write things down. And then this one is by category. So you're thinking about like sentimental things, valuable things, things like that. Um, and then this guy is the rotation guide. And honestly, this is really important. So a lot of people don't rotate. And the biggest reason is it's just a pain in the butt. And so this makes it really easy. Oh shoot, it's like not focusing. Sorry about that. Um, if you follow this and you take it step by step, this has you go through your lists. Because if you remember, the lists have a spot for you to write um, your expiration dates. So this rotation guide tells you to get out your lists and look at all of the expiration dates and find what needs to be rotated, decide, okay, is it time to update a picture or do we have account numbers that have changed? And you get all of that gathered first. You go to the store, you make your shopping list, you print another one of these out every six months, you make your list of what you need to do um, and get it all set and ready before you ever get your packs out. So you do your shopping and you look at your list then you do all of your paper updates and copies and pictures or whatever you need. Then you get out your packs and it is a really quick process if you have done the work beforehand. So the rotation guide is gold um, and it has, you don't have to, like I've covered everything in there. So if you just follow everything, you will be 100% covered. So if you have any further questions or want to see anything else up close, let me know. And um, yeah. I hope this is helpful to a lot of people. All right.